I'm Kieran Allison and we are farmers in Perilup in the lower Great Southern of Western Australia. My role is the day-to-day -day operations of running the farm and managing the cropping roles and making sure it all runs smoothly. Three years ago, my five-year target was 10 tonne. We're in a high rainfall zone, so I thought we had half a chance to achieve that high yield potential. Just trying to set the benchmark for the area and just pushing the boundaries on what is possible What has been the main contribution to achieving the highest yields is something that is free and it's timing. This year we started on the 23rd of March putting in winter wheat in and we'll go through from then right till the first week of May. It can be quite risky. Some things pay off and some things you try and you might attack it a different way. We are trying a new cedar this season. So there's a lot of technology has gone into it. We've got section control, two lots of liquid systems, running Flexien separate to wetters by placing the wetter with the seed and by putting our Flexien down deeper and higher rates, we can get better crop establishment. Also with the GPS technology that we've got, we've made it more efficient by having auto turn, auto lift, just makes it user friendly. My area manager, Keith, and I catch up just before the start of the season, if not the season before, and start making a plan for fertiliser in the season going ahead. He just his attention to detail. He sows early, uses good seeding rates, good weed control, good disease control. He uses very high fertiliser rates. You know, he uses all the latest technology, but also grasps a lot of the new varieties and the new chemistry. So it's not just one thing that he does, but it's just his attention to detail. Keith knows what my targets are and different fertiliser brews, different rates, but it's reliability and just building on a long-term relationship. I like to just push the limits on everything. I want to be up there and be a leader in our district so that people can see what's possible. Two years' time, hoping to have achieved that 10-tonne cereal target and so far the outlook for the season is great. <laughs>